Hello, this is John William Greenbaum for Baseball TTM Autographs and Guru Baseball Autographs. This is my third installment of my YouTube show, and I will be answering your questions in addition to offering a few helpful pointers, following up on some stuff last week, and covering current events. Now, I took questions, of course, for this week's show, and by the way, this is actually the second time I filmed this show because current events, uh, I actually want, I really wanted to touch on something that um, was missing from the first time I went over this, but um, I'm actually going to address that first. And a number of you have been getting back Wade Boggs, multiple cards, unsigned no matter, and without your money. Um, what, I, what has been asked, uh, specifically by Jenny Hackett Kuntz and Victor Ray, uh, was, does this mean that Wade Boggs is done? And the answer is, I don't think so, because there were, there was one, and now there are two guys on sportscollectors.net who sent him one card with one $10 bill, and they got that card back signed. So he isn't done, at least if those results are to be believed, uh, if you feel uneasy sending out to him for any, me, any reason, then don't, but I just want to mention those successes. Um, now, some of the other questions that were asked of me were by Dennis Bazo, and I thought, I, I really liked Dennis's question, which I answered on uh, Guru Baseball Autographs, but which I've actually been asked a couple of times, but not in the way that Dennis asked it. I really like the way he w in which he asked it, and that was, do you have a specific brand of index cards that you use to create custom baseball cards, and do you use those to protect your cards as well? Well, I think that's put wonderfully, and as a matter of fact, I do. Uh, I have, uh, th there is a brand called Oxford, and they are printed on cardstock. Now, they are probably not as good for, fl as for flash cards as uh, big box store brands like Up and Up is one that I see a lot at, um, I think, Target. Is, uh, that might be their store brand. I see it a lot at Target. Uh, but um, for baseball cards and for protecting baseball cards, I would use that because also one of the other things about it is I've noticed that uh, when I actually ran low on index cards and I, I tried to use some up and ups um, for protection, I did get a teensy little bit of ink transfer, and I found that with the, um, with the Oxford brand, it was much, much less ink transfer, and I actually experimented with that by sending out two uh, returns where I put in one uh, on one side, uh, an up and up on one side, and Oxford on the other and seeing if ink would transfer um, from, the, the, from the signature. And the, um, the ones that have come back with facing the Oxford brand have been fine. And the ones that have come back facing the, uh, the other brand, Up and Up, uh, have not, or, well, well I, I should say that there's been a little bit of ink transfer, but, you know, nothing that would really cosmetically affect it. Anyway, oh, and by the way, you can buy those uh, for $2.99 for a pack of 300 on Amazon.com.
at least if you have Amazon Prime, as I do. And you get free shipping with that, so I highly recommend it. Now, there was another question asked by Nick Jarvanen, and I really liked this one because it was actually a question that I've never seen addressed. Uh, it was uh, not when sending to a major league team, but when sending to a minor league team, do you use the P.O. box or do you use the stadium address? Well, me having sent more major league teams than minor league teams, I kind of automatically assumed that, you know, sending to the stadium would be your best option. Well, turns out I went on to SCN, and wow, seems the time just really vary with the teams. Um, some, some seem to be, uh, or it seems that it really vary with the teams. Some seem to be slower with P.O. boxes, some seem to be slower if you send to the stadium. And I can tell you, by the way, immediately one team that is slower if you send to the stadium that's independent league is the Kansas City T-Bones. Use their P.O. box. They're in, uh, in the Independent American Association. Um, I, actually, I sent to the stadium, and I got 37 days for John Mazzarelli, their manager, um, who is the son of a guy who caught Steve Dalkowski, Dave Mazzarelli, who is a friend of mine. And I thought that, you know, that was quite telling because I was looking at some of the people who had sent to the stadium and gotten it back, m or sorry, who had sent to, a P to the P.O. box, gotten it back much, much faster. So, um... The other, um, so it really, I don't have the answer. I mean, in the case of the Kansas City T-Bones, I have the answer, but that's not really a representative of anything. I mean, you, I, would, I would almost take it by team and go on to SCN and see, you know, players that are playing there and see where they're being sent care of the stadium or care of the P.O. box or, you know, mailing address, it'll usually say if it's a P.O. box. Uh, Justin Dellinger asked me another really good one after asking me a good one last week, which was, how do you ask tactfully about bad experiences with ball players? Well, the first things you gotta know are don't ask about clubhouse chemistry unless it was maybe 50 years ago and if you're asking about brawls well that can be more recent but I'd still wait a good 15 years I, w I, I would at least wait until the player has retired or both players have retired um, to ask about a brawl, and I would do it in a very, very tactful way, like, you know, I really remember that particular brawl that was going through your head, or, you know, what were you thinking, um, and not, not, what were you thinking, exclamation point, but, uh, what was going through your mind at that point, and what were you, just find a very, very delicate way of asking it like that, and, at the very least, I can tell you that with the guys from the 50s and the 60s, they'll answer you. And what you also might want to do is, if you want to ask about a brawl, you may want to ask the manager or a coach, because they generally have a, have a pretty good grasp of what went on with regards to team chemistry. So, I thought that was kind of an interesting question, and... Even though it's kind of far afield, uh, I thought it was definitely a very good one. Uh, finally, we had another question. Uh, no, actually, this is not final. There, there, are two, because this this was the final question. But I am going to address one more, a little tip. Um, 